technology definitely provides entirely completely new landscape yes. completely new opportunities um, and um, sometimes it's hard to keep up with the new technology <laughs> it's important to care, to stay always aware of what is happening and what is not um, uh, lighting design um, it's one of the areas where definitely is changing, uh, especially with the new technology, especially with the LED and interactive solutions. Sometimes even the lighting designers are asking themselves, is that really lighting design? Yeah. Or it is um, uh, something else? <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, um, it, it is an interesting, um, interesting times we are in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree with you, Betty. I think mm. there's a really major distinction emerging between what has historically traditionally been referred to as lighting design and what I will refer to as visual entertainment. Now, um, I think there's, that they both have important roles to play in the urban scape, um, but I don't think you should confuse the two. I don't think I mean, what's interesting is that they're bonded at the hip, so to speak, by a common technology, the LED technology and all that's associated with it. But the actual usage, uh, the application, if you want to call it that, is enormously different. And um, I think one of the real problems I'm finding as a lighting designer is that the public perception of lighting is in fact biasing more and more toward trending more and more towards what I call visual entertainment. Mm -hmm. And I'm at pains to point out to people that the sort of thing we are seeing right now here in this city with vivid on a temporary basis and multiple examples of it, same sort of thing if you like, visual uh, entertainment or light art happening uh, on a permanent basis is not the same as uh, architectural lighting. Mm. Now I'll give you an example of a very interesting situation where there's a huge crossover between those two and very kindly you've put my work out there <laughs> on that banner <laughs> and the, the entrance orb, the dome to the Adelaide Entertainment Centre uh, was a very interesting project because it actually had a foot in both camps you know, mm. using that, oh, very purposely, yeah. very purposely. Um, the idea was that it should become a, uh, an icon, and I use that word very, very reservedly. I, we can't have too many icons, because otherwise you don't have any. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but it had to be iconic. And it wasn't difficult in that neck of the woods. I mean, there wasn't much competition. <laughs> but um, the interesting thing was um, making sure that it was a statement of function. It is an entertainment center, and therefore that particular quality of lighting, and any of you who haven't seen it on the on an, uh, a YouTube, uh, Philips did a, a very good program about it. And it was, it's worth looking at, because it is very dynamic. You know, it, it moves. It's a, it is a very powerful form of visual entertainment. Fantastic.